Hello and welcome to this short video tutorial explaining how to set conditional access on a Moodle course. Conditional access is a way of preventing access to particular sections or resources within your course if you want learners to complete previous tasks before moving on. So I'm going to demonstrate today how you set this up and today I'm going to demonstrate setting up conditional access on sections because within my course I want learners to complete each section in order before they can move on to the next. So the first stage is to turn editing on. Once you've turned your editing on you'll be provided with various tools that allow you to um, edit the settings of different sections. Now, the sections may be called topics, um, I tend to call them sections, but you can name them as you like, um, and you'll see here I've got introduction, I've got planning. Now, you'll see this little bit of text here that says that the planning section is not available unless the activity, what is a solar quiz, feedback on introduction, and what should be in the solar course are marked as complete. Now, if you go back to the previous stage there, you can actually see these resources have ticks next to them. I've set up completion tracking on these resources so when a learner views them or completes them or in the case of a feedback um, resource when they've left feedback these activities will be ticked off and marked as complete. Once the learner has completed those tasks they will then be able to move on to this section and this section will unlock. So that's basically the, the idea of why we set conditional access. I want learners to progress through the course in a logical order. I don't want them jumping about through different things, ticking things off manually. I want it to be automatic as much as possible. So I've just added in a new section down here. So um, as I've now moved that section, I need to change the conditional access. So the first section is fine. It's set up to look at the previous section. When they're completed, the learner can move on to this section. Now, what I need to do here is I need to actually set up this section so that it can't be accessed until these activities are complete. So you'll see on the previous section, we have one, two, three activities. I actually need a fourth activity on here. Okay, so to set up conditional access on the setting up your course section, I need to edit this topic. Um, conditional access wasn't enabled previously, so you will need to do this for every, any section of your course. So if I click on the um, cog, it should take me into the settings for this particular um, topic. If I want, I can provide a summary there. But you'll see down here now there's a new option for restrict access. If I click on there, at the moment, there's nothing restricting access to this particular section. 
I'm going to add a restriction. So I'm going to restrict um, access to this section based on the previous section, which is the planning section. So if you remember, there was four sections there. Done that one. I'm going to go. You'll see there's a variety of different options. So you can actually add a restriction based on a date. So you can prevent users from um, accessing a resource, an assignment, or a section until a certain date. You can actually set um, restrict access to areas of your course based on students requiring grades from previous assessments. You can also um, control access to sections based on the user's profile. Um, I haven't actually used restriction set. I'm sure the, the, the four, first four options will be plenty for you. So I've got that one, the planning wiki. Must be my complete. Add restriction, next one. So we've got the planning wiki. Discuss your planning, a bit of a forum activity. And finally, we have the feedback mechanism on the planning stage. And that's basically it. So now the user will not be able to access that stage until they have completed the previous planning stage. If we scroll down to the section, you'll see that's set on there now. Now, obviously, because I've moved that section, I need to then go back and edit um, the next section because obviously these now refer to the previous one. And the same with this section here, I'd have to edit that. But that's the basics. You'll also notice that you can actually um, say if I wanted to restrict access to a quiz. You'll see I have the same restrict access options, just the same as before. I'm going to cancel that though. Um, typically, if you are wanting to award badges as part of your course, you will need to have this sort of thing set up so that users can move sequentially through the course, um, completing the assessments in the order that you've set. This also helps towards the uh, solar model so that you can actually schedule when assessments, when sections are available. And this can help to form a schedule for when your learners are doing their online learning. So there's a lot of uses for conditional access. Um, as previously mentioned, you can actually restrict it based on grades. There's a lot of different setups, but enjoy playing around with it. And that's the basics. Thank you.